Hello, I'm Derek. I'm the CEO of Minus Tau. We're a concussion sensor developing company. So concussions, they're a headache for both the sports and the military sector. Uh, just to quickly go off, uh, you may recognize some of this uh, from earlier on, but I just want to say that one in ten contact athletes uh, will get a concussion this season. So we have ten athletes, one of them will end up being this little guy on the ground. Um, such a big problem, how big is it you ask? Uh, mainstream media has addressed it and it, most of the United States has passed legislation that requires every sports program to have a concussion protocol in place. That presents a political window that Minus Tau is seeking to take advantage of. So back to this, parents are keeping their children out of sports. That's a big problem. Uh, going away from sports, 5% of the military will experience a traumatic brain, brain injury. Um, even darker truth is that one in three concussions will go undiagnosed. It's football season tonight. Uh, there's football going on, 250 kids are walking around with undiagnosed concussions. That's a huge problem. They're going to have long-term problems down the road. Solution, technology that allows for rapid detection of concussive forces, so that way these athletes or soldiers could get the proper treatment that's necessary. So why detect a concussion earlier? Uh, I liken it to drinking a beer. You drink one beer, you're able to walk, but you drink one, two, three, four, uh, you probably you know, should sit down and stay away from your car. Now, you capture a concussion early on, the treatment is um, probably two days without playing, that's fine. But multiple concussions happen, you're looking at CTs, MRIs, hospital admissions. This all leads to a cost of society of $76.5 billion. That's impacting everyone in this room right now. So how do we de detect concussions? We rely heavily on athletes or soldiers saying, hey, can you come check me out? This rarely happens. So uh, there's a big push now for sensors that help detect the concussion and uh, get the athlete or soldier out of the field so that way they can be assessed. And they do so using accelerometer technology. Uh, anyone count steps here? That's the same technology. It just measures uh, force and it's able to say, hey, uh, there might be a uh, concussive force that's present. However, concussions aren't that binary. There's other things that go into it, which are EEG technology has a uh, kit come into the market, blood tests, etc. So the Minus Tau brings all those technologies together and utilizes a NASA patent algorithm which allows for this sensor to become a smart sensor that adapts to each user and can be completely integrated with con concussion protocols and is smartphone capable, so compatible. So if you're a, a, a parent and your kid's wearing one of our headbands and they have <coughs> a concussive force, you will be notified that, hey, you should check out your kid. If you're a medical pers personnel or say Bemi Doc, um, they could get the same data via their platform as well and uh, the athlete will then get treated necessarily. So when you compare our uh, product to that of five other companies that are right now on the market, you'll see that across the board, we're not player dependent. We do implement clinical protocols. We use more than one uh, type of technology. Like again, concussions are not binary. There's multiple components to it. And we're not sports dependent. This market size is pretty significant right now. It's $1.2 billion, and with uh, increasing uh, uh, politics and media attention, it's expected to grow within the next uh, 10 years. By 2023, uh, Minus Tau uh, seeks to uh, capture 2% of that market, which is around $23 million, coincidentally. Um, but that's what we're looking uh, to gain in 2023. And this is possible, just looking here locally, it's sort of $5.6 million is here through 50 plus high schools and uh, multiple sports programs. Our infrastructure will be to partner with multiple sporting authorities at the professional, collegiate, and independent school district level with key resources being sensors and software. Our offering to these partners will be that these sports programs will comply with legislative uh, measures that dictate that they need to have a uh, concussion protocol in place. Uh, coaches will be able to have decreased athlete time loss to concussion treatment, it's a pain for coaches. In addition to that, athletes and parents will have improved awareness of the athlete's health. Customer segments will either be the athletes themselves, parents, or these uh, sporting programs. Our distribution channels will be either through an online uh, platform or direct sales, and also our Apple Android App Store, uh, which will be where our Minus Tell app will be present. Our direct costs will be of royalties to NASA. Uh, software infrastructure costs and manufacturing costs, with our revenue streams being two of them will be the actual sale of the individual sensors and the recurrent revenue from monthly subscription charges for extended features for the Minus Tau app. Now our funding opportunity, we're seeking $2.8 million for the uh, first three years 
uh, for equity, 31% uh, equity in the company. This is uh, enough uh, funding to get us past the beta testing of the sensors and into, uh, into the first year of actual market. Use of funding, 51% will go towards operations, with uh, the remaining going towards product development and sales and marketing. Our exit strategy right now, there's two primary considerations. Realizing that this is a huge, hot topic, we uh, plan that there will be a lot of attention from bigger companies like Riddell, uh, which would likely want to acquire our company. So definitely selling to a larger company is possible. However, with such growth, uh, we may also consider taking the company public. So here's a simple uh, diagram. Where are we? We're very early right now. We're finishing up the, the concept prototype. The next thing is to actually scale the prototype and uh, do a small scale batch where we can beta test, get real uh, data, and then uh, improve that product and then get taken to market. Our, our team consists of engineers, medical students. Um, we have engineers uh, with PhD backgrounds. Um, in addition to that, we have graduate level engineers and uh, uh, computer programmers that are also graduate level. Uh, medical students that are familiar with the clinical protocols that clinicians use. Uh, future direction, we like to establish a manufacturer ready scale prototype, take it to market, beta test, and do all that. So I won't uh, go over this again. Just to summarize, uh, why use a minus tile sensor? Because it's early detection, which is less games missed, good for the coaches, shorter treatment, reduced healthcare costs, good for everyone, and better outcome, good for the patient. So join my style today as a partner, investor, engineer, or mentor. I don't take any questions. So what kind of exclusivity do you have with NASA on this patent? We have a, a startup license deal. Uh, right now, it is a, we're the only company to actually have this license uh, through uh, NASA. So what does that mean, a startup license deal? Can, we have three years to actually take this to market. Once we take it to market, it, it is uh, entirely ours. And what does NASA get? 4.2% royalties of revenue. For those three years? Or indefinitely? Indefinite. And, and taking to market, what, is, what does that mean? So in three years, you have to take it to market? Profit. So once we actually have profit on the sensors themselves. So it, you have to have profit within three years? Profit within three years, or at three years, there is a uh, there is a, a, a part of the, the license the, uh, track that we show that we had made due diligence and actually are on the verge of going to profit. They they have said uh, they would extend the, the licensing terms. What kind of approvals do you have to have before you go to market by who? Approval. So um, there's two pathways. One, we could seek FDA approval to actually make turn this into a diagnostic test. Sim it's more simple than pharmaceutical measures. It's a device FDA approval, which is less stringent. In addition to that, since we'll be in implementing clinical protocols, it's what we call a uh, digital prescription, uh, which just came out. So software is moving at a fast pace. FDA realizes that. So the process to get FDA approved for digital prescriptions is actually very, uh, very uh, low compared to device, compared to pharmaceuticals. So that would be one route we could go. How, or we could just use it as a, a diagnostic tool, not giving a diagnosis. There's no FDA approval. We just uh, pr uh, provide it, present it as a tool in assessing the patient. So that's a path that we could pursue and parallel with that FDA. Uh, Concurrency. Yes. Sir. So a tool for a professional to use. Correct. And as soon as, uh, and of course, that would be uh, you know down the road if we wanted to actually say we want to diagnose the concussion, say. You get hit, you have a concussion, that's a diagnosis. Then that would seek, that'd be FDA approval that we would have to seek, but that would be something that we'd be doing concurrently while it's already out on the market.